Hello, I'm Max Landis, and I'm here to talk to you about what I personally believe to be the best movie ever made. It's called Love Exposure. It's by Sion Sono. And you might not have heard of it. It was actually a huge hit overseas, and it makes a lot of sense that it was a huge hit. But I'll tell you something. I'm going to tell you it right at the top. This movie is four and a half hours long. And I tell you something else, you're not going to want it to end while you're watching it. Love Exposure, I say, defaults into being the best movie ever made. You want to know why? Because it's four and a half hours long. It's not boring. Never boring. It's funny. The plot that it tells, the story it tells, has to be four and a half hours long in order to get all the details. And I've never seen anything else like that in my life. Like, if you watched all of the Star Wars movies from back to back... There would be moments where you were like, and they're great, but no. You watch Lord of the Rings back to back, you'll be asleep. You watch this? I don't know how it's possible, but this is a four and a half hour long movie that never loses momentum, is always charming, always funny, always intelligent, and has you on the edge of your seat more than once. Love Exposure will disgust you, it will terrify you, it will make you laugh, it will make you cry. And I'll talk about all of that while we watch the trailer, which won't possibly be able to do justice to it. This movie is as close to American filmmaking as I've seen from Japan. And that's funny because it seems like a four and a half. I love this. Look at this shocking 237 minutes. What's amazing is that they're like, oh God, this is how they advertise it? You as a devout Christian. Oh Lord. Oh, look at this. His father's a priest. So he starts sinning to have an excuse to talk to his father. That's how the panty photography starts. They're not going to be able to. Yeah, they're just not going to be able to do it. You know what? Just listen to me talk. Don't even watch the trailer. The movie is a teen romp comedy about a guy who's in love with his stepsister. But it decides and pursues a affair with her in a very bizarre way. Except he's intercepted by a character who has yet to be shown in the trailer. Who's a huge part of the movie. Who is so frighteningly evil, sinister. I would say she's the greatest filmic villain of all time. Uh, let's see if they show her even once. There, there she is! You see her for one second with the bird! One of the scariest characters ever uh, starts to try to intercept him uh, because she's in love with him and wants him to be either dead or with her. And the lengths these characters start to go to get to each other are insane! And his friend's kidnapping her. And it's all about Christianity. There we go. And uh, sexuality and being a teenager and being a teenage guy and how much it sucks if you're not really a sinister guy. There is bloodshed. There is murder. There are explosions. There are miracles. It, it spans every genre and it does it seamlessly. I'm not sure what they're talking about. The ending is beyond everyone's imagination. The ending is just great and makes total sense based on true events. No, it's not! Sonsono, yeah, sure. That time you raided a cult with a samurai sword?